do not joke with words nothing gets into your ears and has no effect at all hello my lovely people how are you all doing good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are going to watch this from how are your countries doing here in uganda it is calm it has just rained so the weather is good it is amazing here in uganda so you are super welcome to this channel if it is your first time here this is christine come see me and on this channel i get to share christian content breaking down big concepts in christianity to smaller workable tips so that anyone can apply them to enjoy the promises of god as he has promised in the bible and today i am sharing about the words that we receive all the words that we harbor in our hearts it is important especially in this era where we have information overload guys this is we are at the season where we have too much information like it is overloading every day on internet on google on twitter on social media name every media that is available just know we have too much information going on so it is important that today we are at our best to filter any information that comes to us and usually bad news is more than the good news even when you share good news people don't want to reshare or to give it a thought but if it is bad news my friend it will just sell out <laughs> I don't know why then you again wonder why you sleep bad why you are having not good life but you forget that you have exposed yourself to too much negative information too much bad media then you are questioning why you are sleeping badly why your life is not as exciting but it is in what you have exposed yourself to as simple as that like we need to see if we need to now feel we need to feel that the information that is coming to us you open the phone like this and a list of things are on your disposal to look at so we need to have the ability to say no to some of the things that you feel you don't need in your life, don't open them. You understand? We have to have the choice of what we need to watch, what we need to expose our eyes to, but know that every information, everything that comes to you, to your ears or to your visual, to your sight, will have an impact. Let us read 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 10. We see what it says. It says, I'm reading NIV. It says, Undoubtedly, there are all sorts of languages in the world, yet none of them is without meaning. If then I do not grasp the meaning of what someone is saying, I am a foreigner to the speaker and the speaker is a foreigner to me. In this world, there are all sorts of languages. There are sorts, all sorts of things, films, videos, YouTube. Every day we are here on YouTube. Many people posting things on any other source of information just know it has an impact and none you can't say that this is now neutral it is not good it is not bad it is either or it is either good or bad it has in everything has an effect there is nothing that is in between there which is so it is either building you or destroying you you get it so it is important that in this season we discern what we are feeding ourselves what we are exposing ourselves to 
and that way if you choose well you will guard your heart because the bible says guard your heart because out of it flow issues of life so what you put in yourself what you put in your mind what you put in your heart will at the end of the day define the end result of who you are of how you are living well or of how you are being derailed in life so do not joke with what even if someone tells you a bad word be quick to correct it and remove it from yourself someone might be joking and says ah you broke one just know that that word has an impact on you so you must reverse it refuse it and rebuild what you and build what you feel that is worth you someone might say ah for you you're ever sick just refuse you say i do not fall sick there and then that way you are building that is the language we are talking about that undoubtedly there are many words going on there is many information there is too much information available now but choose what you want to work for you you understand so it is important that we know how to or we have the ability to sieve through whatever is presented on our phones on our computers on our televisions or even in our associates whatever they say we need to have the ability to sieve and choose wisely what we need to keep and what we need to get rid of and what we need also not to not even daring to open it you know just leave it if you don't open it you won't die you know so it is important that we are stable enough and have the ability to sieve through the information that we receive every day and make a decision of what you need and what you don't need all right guys this is as short as this i'll definitely see you on my next one i'll get one video and link it here which i think is a good build up on this topic of guarding your heart i'll leave it linked here i have that video in the archives i'll leave it for you to watch so kindly give the video a like if you have any question ask it in the comment section or in my whatsapp number i always leave it linked in the description box feel free to contact me i'll definitely see you on my next one guys i am seeing support on my vlogs lifestyle vlogs also support them the best way you know how ciao ciao shalom peace adios